Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dramic. Welcome back to more of Minecraft Hardcore. I have been very busy off camera. So, in the event you don't know, last time I was kind of mulling over what to do next. Okay. Um, yeah, as I said, we've been busy off camera, but we were kind of mulling over what big project we wanted to do next, because I don't really want to fight the wither right now, so seriously. Anyway, um, so I did, for once, do a decent amount of stuff off camera. Because in the event you don't know, I want to build Nobox Song. Um, so I stayed up until about 2am, I had a video exporting, so you know, my computer was going to be on either way, and I thought, right, you know, I'm going to get some work done off camera, so... Before we actually get into what we're actually going to do this episode, I've got a lot of stuff to catch you all up on. And may I just say, it does border on being minorly mental. But with all that said, um... So first things first, we accidentally let a load of villagers out, but... Here, here is the sitch. So... As we've been discussing previously, we need a lot of redstone. How do we get a lot of redstone? Well, there's two ways. We, think we can either go mining, at which point it's going to become ludicrous how long it will take to get, or we can stick with Old Reliable, which is using villagers to get it. Um, in the event you don't know, no, Mr. Brewing Stand and One Fish Trades is one emerald for two redstone. So we need to get a lot of emeralds. We already have a lot of emeralds, but we will need more. So we can sell papers to this fellow and we get some emeralds. Uh, we can sell farm stuff to this guy like we usually do and get emeralds. We sell rotten flesh to this guy to get emeralds. And then if I can find him, uh, not you. There is one of you. It's one of yours. It's one of yours. Is it you? It's one of them you can sell iron to for emeralds as well. So, you know, quite a generally good stuff. Um, you know, we've obviously got a decent stockpile of emeralds as is. You know, it, like, okay, to be fair, that might not be selling us too good. I do have emeralds somewhere, don't I? He says. He hopes. I've probably stuck them in the wrong chest, which is a very me thing. To no, I haven't. I've stuck them in these shulkers. Yeah, so I've got a shulker for him, redstone, and a shulker for emeralds. Um, okay, I want to I use my, my, my iron guy. My iron guy will be somewhere. They'll all come back at night time. We hope, seriously. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to check in over here. What is wrong with you? Okay, but yeah, anyway, so... Busy times. Uh, messing around with the villagers, as you may have guessed, has resulted in uh, you know, some tomfoolery. Again, like, legitimately, like, our, our highest tier farmer has just, has just fled. Uh, we may be noticing we were down a, a different villager, which we seems why 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 are you over here? What is your aim? You are aware you will die. Please come back. Anyway, that's hinting. So anyway, that's the that's the situation, as they say. So yeah, we got we got to get all the emeralds um to um well buy redstone off that one villager. Issue is, village trades are a pain, so, for example, do we have some emeralds on hand right now? Yeah, so let's take a stack right now. Um, Mr. Cleric out here, you do have a, a redstone trade. Yeah, he's, he's disabled. It's like, I, I can't do that. It's like, what am I meant to do with this? So it's like, yeah, I'm at a limit in terms of how much stuff I can offload. I can't offload a load of iron at once, I can't offload a load of paper at once. I'm kind of capped at what I can do, so I've got two ways to go about doing this. The first one, we diversify our trades and we kind of like cycle through them. So, you know, I'll do paper, I'll do rod and flesh, I'll do farm stuff, I'll do iron. We cycle through, yada, yada, yada. We get that done eventually. And I smelled a load of um, stone off camera as well because we need an F ton of repeaters. Alternatively, we break the game, um, which, which we'll get to. We'll get to. But uh, going back to the point of getting enough um, stuff to sell to the villagers as is, um, you know, I, I say paper, pretty reliable things considered, but our sugar cane producing capacities aren't all the way up there. Been harvesting this as well too. Very nice chill night, I gotta say. Chilling the boys with Discord, just doing menial tasks. Fun time. Felt very productive. But, um, yeah, I thought, you know, right. Sugarcane makes the most sense. Like, why make a bigger melon and, and pumpkin farm for something temporary? Like, that doesn't make sense. But, you know, sugarcane, it's like, you know, okay, you know, go on then. So, I was like, right, for once, let's do something off camera. So, I built a sugarcane farm. A pretty big one. And planted the entire thing, too. And, yeah, this should, in theory, give us enough stuff to, um,. Well, you know, make an F-ton of paper and offload that. So, in terms of actually making emeralds, we're doing decently well. And again, we got a stockpile of iron from our iron farm and other stuff like that. Like, we're doing pretty well, all things considered. And again, if we just, you know, cycle through what we're selling, um, that shouldn't be an issue. Of course it might be, but, you know, we'll, we will manage in the end. We'll manage... It's, it's not getting the emeralds that's the problem, because we can get that through a variety of different ways. The problem is getting rid of the emeralds. So, some of you may be wondering what that, um thing off in the distances. So I was like, right, I've got an idea. I'll save it for next episode, though. And I did not. I did not. I stayed up later than expected. One of my friends started streaming a Hunger Games simulator, and I was like, alright, fine. I bet. I'll, 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 you know, I'll play a little bit more Minecraft. Um, so if you don't know what this odd arrangement is, um, I kidnapped this villager last night. 
I mean, he's, he's not regular cleric, you know, give him a little hut, you know, a nice chill place out at the docks. You know, it, it, it's like trade, it comes and goes, except this trade is going to be severely exploiting the game, um, so I can get rid of my impulse quicker. So, um, how this works, it, this is called void trading, and it is a glitch, but, you know, I'm kind of okay with it, because we're just speeding things up rather than cheating in items. But basically, how it works, I press this button, start to take off, start trading with it. And I'll sit and twiddle my thumbs for a while, right? And, you know, any time today. Very slow railway, but it basically takes that onto the ocean until that guy is unloaded. Um, the only issue is, is that I've done this wrong. But yeah, so we got, we got about this far, right? And now, in theory, that villager should be un unloaded under certain circumstances. But right now, he's not, because I'm thick. See, see, he's still loaded in, which is a problem. We need to unload that villager and then trade with the unloaded villager so that the villager we come back to hasn't been traded with us, forget me. So we do the trade, but we're not trading with that villager. It's it's very weird, but you see, he's still loaded in. We can't have that. So, the the trick, if you will, I'm going to remember my values are 18 and 12. We turn these all the way down. We, we be enter Silent Hill. It does look really ominous, I have to admit. I might do a whole episode like this one day. Halloween is coming up, to be fair. Spooky episode, anybody? Maybe, we'll see. But now if we do this, click trade, and we give it a while. You know, he, he's gonna wait there, he's gonna wait there, give it a few seconds, we're going out about 80, 90 blocks, which, again, if you do a little bit of math in your head, that's further than our simulation distance is. Which means once we reach the end, Mr. Man over there is unloaded. We stick some emeralds in, we trade. Oh no, his trade has expired, what a shame, and we only got 24 redstone out of it. Isn't that a bit sad? If only, if only he was going to be willing to trade with us the second we re-arrive. Um, except, spoiler alert, ladies and gentlemen, we get a little bit of XP too. But, he absolutely is. So we do it again! <laughs> and that is basically how we can offload our emeralds in a significantly more timely manner. So rather than making a load of brewing sounds, we just make a load of trips back and forth. Now is this menial? Yes, but it's something I can do while I'm editing. I'm not going to subject you guys to episodes on episodes of me doing this. This project by- I- did I do that too early? Oops. Oops. My bad. But yeah, the, the general idea behind this is I can do a lot of this stuff off camera, but the process of getting this all to work so I can do things off camera is what I'm going to share with you guys. Because I could have built this in an episode, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to save you, I'm going to trim some of the fat for you guys, because, yes, he's, I, 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 I messed it up, my bad, we'll, we'll, we'll come back later. Or will we? Nah, we probably won't. Let's uh, turn our stuff back up. So it was 18 and 12, wasn't it? Yep, literally just on top of each other. And look, it reloads, so we can see things in the distance again. Namaste. So that's what I was up to last episode. Well, no, that's what, well, last episode, if it was an episode, we would have done that, but we did. I decided to skip that because I want to get into the, the details of this, you know, because I, I personally think building this redstone thing is actually going to be a bigger ask than I initially assumed. And yeah, I, I, I kind of a bit mental here, so, you know, cool new plan, and it is slightly, no, severely damn easier. Easy trade? Not currently, but soon mayhaps, yeah, yeah, we break game. That's what I just showed you a lot. Um, you'll not believe, okay, how we do it, no trade limit, escape on rail, zap stuff into emeralds, onto redstone duff stuff, smiley face. There's absolutely no hidden meaning behind that whatsoever. So, um, yes, yeah, it's during tonight's time, by the way, because I kind of do want to lock up my villagers, um, in a rather unethical manner. Like, I might just keep these guys chilling in here, you know, like, are you guys happy with your new life? Yeah, alright. Chill. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to wait for night time and then hope I can get all these villagers inside. Although, I want to keep an eye on these lot over here. Because um, it's like, they they legitimately have not returned back since they escape. And I'm not sure how to feel about that. It makes me feel a little bit, you know, hmm. It's like, you guys okay? You running away? You like midnight lovers? Should I get a book out? Are we making a movie out of this? You know, it's like, what, what, what's the plan? What's the plan? It's like, seriously, the, the sun is going down. Like, if I can view the other villagers. Yeah, so you're over here. Like, do either of you feel an inclination to go back home at all? At all. Like, I don't know. You see, when it's like, it's night time. You, you should be bowling towards the nearest bed. See, he is. He's trying to. I don't know, are they, like, desynced from the, the current area? Because if so, that's slightly alarming. Because it's like, you have my good trades. He doesn't. I kind of want to kill him. But, like, I don't know if that get me in the village's bag box. Depending. Also, I should stick some torches back in my hands. My bad. I forgot to do so. So, I don't know. Seriously, you... Do you, do you feel any sort of pressure? Like, what if I just nudge you gently back within range, you know, so the, the soft, sweet tones of home? No? I can't, that's not working? What do you mean? No, yes it is. Get, 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 get back in. You're, you're a member of this village, whether you like it or not. <gasps> wow, what the f- Well, you, you're in an awful big rush. 
What is your problem? Are you saying this villager number four? I... Well, to each their own, then. See how long you last. He's going to last, like, 18 episodes just chilling outside. I can feel it. Like, you'd, you'd think, you know, the, the thing would be like, okay, let's acquire some new villagers because three of them have gone and got stuck in my sheep pen. But no, apparently not. Speaking of which, I need to share these guys. Um, but there is a little bit more that I've done off camera. Because I figured, um, well, you know, I looked at the um, no clock tutorial for the song I uh, want to make. And I decided, you know, okay, let's go through and get an inventory of roughly how much of each resource we will need. Because um, in case you don't, they're going to put different blocks underneath um, different uh, blocks to, um, well, make them make different sounds. So I, I kind of looked up the list of requirements we'd need and then kind of worked backwards from that to kind of get a general estimate of how many repeaters we need. J just so you guys know, generally, how effed we are. If we are effed at all, you know, we could be flying right for all we know. All right, seriously, I think... Yeah, I'm just going to... How many of you have gone and fled? I'm walking. I'm walking you in. You, 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 you are all. I right, so we got. Okay, so we got my librarians. That's chill. My cleric. Okay. Yeah. Right. Th these doors are staying firm. Oh. To be fair. I wonder if because there's a new farm and that guy's not coming back. I might make a new partner. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. So in case you guys are wondering what exactly we need for this project, I'm just gonna like stare and sit at this uh, thing while I read it out. And you guys should hopefully, as we go along, get a progressive sinking feeling of just how deep this this single project that I wrote on this bar, bar thing goes. Because this can vary. This is a, this is notebook song. It can either function as like a short um, jingle for the chorus or a doorbell, or it could be the full song. What I'm about to read out is for a minute and a half of the song, which you know verse and chorus I think works out. Minute and a half ish, here and there. But to do a minute and a half of the song, I think the chorus is about 40 seconds. You know, half this. Uh, obviously, it kind of changes around depending on what instruments are used, but it would be for underneath the note blocks 189 wood planks, 254 wool, 97 hay blocks, 62 pumpkins, 122 smooth stone, 62 clay blocks unsmelted, 1 soul sand, 230 sand, 136 glowstone, 3 glass, 44 packed ice, 71 emerald blocks, and 76 gold blocks. Yeah, next to the packed ice, emerald, and gold, um, I've wrote ouch, because those are, you know, th th that's an ouch. Because not only do we need emeralds to turn into redstone, but we now need to, you know, get a little redstone. How much redstone to be exact? Well, doing the estimate, um, we need 252-ish redstone dust. We need 752 note blocks. We already have 64 in storage, so, you know, knock that off, I guess. And then, the most painful of all, the repeaters is 32 stacks and that's a conservative estimate so you know that's um a few a few stacks of redstone that you know yeah well, that's, that's basically a hundred stacks of redstone just for the repeaters yeah so so you know we're kind of in a little bit deep we're kind of in a little bit deep in terms of what we need to be doing so much to the point you may be wondering Hang on a second, why didn't you record all, you know, share all this stuff in real time? We're not going to be able to get 100 stacks of redstone by farming our sugar cane and pumpkins unless we plan for the series to go on indefinitely with us doing that. So what's the other reasonable course of solution? Well, with the remaining time in this video, I want to try and see if I can find something I found a lot of episodes ago. Because there is a witch hut somewhere in the nearby vicinity of this house. Not in the nearby vicinity, but in a good enough vicinity to where it's like, you know. Okay. Fair enough. If you get my gist. So, I want to try and find out which hut is, and then, um, well, we're going to make a witch fall. Because I need, you know, a decent amount of emerald blocks, which I can probably make, to be fair. But in terms of redstone, we're going to come up short buying like a good few months if I want to get this done in a timely manner. And mind, we still have to build the damn thing. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out how to take some shortcuts. So my plan is, um, sometimes I will, well, whilst I'm exporting, I will turn down my render distance, but, you know, uh, chill out of this witch farm, which will generate me redstone however much per hour. And then, you know, if I want to be active while well, I've got a render going, again, you can thank like longer videos like Persona 5 Danganronpa for having long export times for driving me to do this passively. Um, but if I want to be more active, then I can come back here and I can, you know, do it regularly. Acting here will get me more redstone actively, I think. 
But if I want to be, you know, AFK for a little while and play a game that's, you know, not going to use up too extra, many extra system resources, shaders off next to the redstone farm should generate us some redstone that -aways. So with that said, I believe our swamp is this way. I think. So I could be wrong. I think going through like my memory, I think it was this way. He said, what the fuck is that? I fucking told you. How is he? Oh, I'm sorry. Why am I the priority? I'm sorry. Are you all chill now? How? How is he still alive? Respectful. Oh, it's not going to be for long. Idiot. <laughs> anyway, so we need to go and try and find a witch's hut, which thankfully we're still on 1.20, but with each passing version, witch's huts do seem to get a little bit rarer. So we are kind of up the creek. Um, in terms of what we're going to hope to find. But I believe heading this direction, hopefully not into the jungle of death, we should find one. Because you yeah, recently went um, kind of um, in the opposite direction, to the right, kind of up and around. That's quite far, and there was no witch out there. I want this to be within a reasonable difference, distance that I can travel to quickly, and then you just hunker down. You know, go make lunch. Wait for my video to explore. Leave the game idling in the background. Probably get mugged by phantoms if I don't build a secure enough house. You know, I want it to be somewhere quick to travel to, so... If there's going to be a witch hunt, I want to check out the closest possible swamp, which, if my memory is right, which it usually is, if you've watched this series long enough, um, you know, shout, shout out to Tama in the comments, who was like, yeah, I've seen all eight, first 80 episodes of this series, like, you're mental, you're mental, but I was the only person mental enough to go rewatch that many, <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, like, I, I, I call back to, like, stuff that happened way earlier in the series, so I think, in general, my hunch is at least may be founded on something reasonable here. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I don't know exactly the route. I'm gonna say it's more north than it is left from here, if memory serves. Because it's past the, um, it's like if we keep going past the woodland mansion, I think that's where we ended up. Um, because it was like, I'm trying to think of the episode exactly. I, I, I know it's somewhere this direction. And if not, I look like a very big silly fool. I mean, yeah, like, we're getting kind of close to the coordinates of the Willow Mansion, right? I think if we kind of keep left, we'll run into it. Is that it? No, that's not it. Very nice aesthetic vibes, I've got to say, but where is this Woodland Mansion? Unless we've already gone past it, in which case, fair. But also, hmm. Yeah. So I thought. Is my sense of direction slightly effed? It might be. It might very well be. Um, honestly, I think if we follow the coast, are we either past it or. What on earth is that? Ah! Well, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Um, but I think... If we keep going kind of straight in... It was, yeah, no, because we crossed... No! I think I know exactly where, which episode we found it in. Because we went to the Woodland Mansion, yada, 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 and I said, Oh, this would be a good place for a house. And I was looking down from the top of a mountain, and I was like, Oh, only downside is I can see a swamp from here, because I don't like swamp biomes. They're not... They're not, you, they're not in my chill books. They're not, you know, my, cootie, my uh, pookie, as, they, as, as we say in the um, TikTok slang terms. Yeah, I want to be put out of my misery as much as you guys, so don't worry. Um, but I think we get off here. Hang on. Shout out to the Wilder Mansion being completely unoccupied, by the way. Like, I love the fact that only regular mobs spawn in there now, and I don't got to deal with vexes. Like, they just... Ugh. Like, do they give anybody else the ick? Because I'd love to know. Let me know I'm not alone in that. <laughs> but I believe we walk this way, and we come out into, like, a nice, open, hilly area. And from the top of that, we go past it. I think that was a swamp. So now it's just holding out that we found a swamp, which is, you know, rare enough. Most of this world is apparently just roofed forest. <laughs> um, we go past... Yeah, see, here we are. I was right. But I think we go past that. We just kind of hope and venture for a swamp, which I will screenshot the coordinates of just to be sure. I'm racking my brain to get this. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I feel as though... I know. I got, I got a gut instinct. Um that it is somewhere here, because, yeah, I was up here chilling, I was like, oh yeah, it's like, you know, a skyblock thing, and, ah, oh, my, ah, well, 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 <laughs> somebody's using a chainsaw outside, it is 3pm on a Friday, well, um, I'm, I'm not sure, do we edit around that, do we not, mm, okay, you know what, actually, I'm, I'm gonna use that chainsaw that's going off outside right now, to be an excuse to quickly skim through, the swamp 
before we hit like over you know extended time on the episode so i'll be back either when i find the witch hut or when whoever they've stopped chainsawing first what will happen first who knows oh 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 shit no 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 okay 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 i'm gonna fucking mix that um hello sweet prince i, I was like doubling back right because i've been all the way through there by the way off frames are tanking like i think they're using mostly unexplored chunks hello oh okay okay that's not bad actually that's not that's not too bad yeah i, I have like to look up briefly um <laughs> where on earth these do actually spawn do i have actually okay do I, I have tough to get in oh my god there's a real one in there who would have thought parkour uh-huh i don't think i can kill her with a parkour battle but i can kill her with an axe uh-huh and she never saw me coming persona 5 Says I'm gonna, like, I'm going to kill you and appropriate your cat. Hello, hello. So we we know where this is now. Um, that's not too far a trip from the house, I don't think. Um, I will screenshot. So one four one five and seven oh seven seem like memorable-ish coordinates. But we do have a witch's hut that we can convert into a little farm. Although I might, I don't know. I kind of want to wait for it to be nightfall so I can make a fishing rod just so I can bring you home because. Don't- am I wrong in assuming that only these cats can spawn in? Which is Huts of Memory serves? Like, I don't know, I get the impression. But yeah, I don't know exactly how to make a super efficient witch farm, I will say. But I do want to make one that, you know, ideally. If I can make one that chugs out stuff quicker than I could trade back home, then I'm going to do it. But if not, then I'm happy to just make like a basic one that, you know, tr trundles on it in the background while I'm doing other stuff. Like, either one's fine, but you know, the quicker the better, though it might take more episodes to build. But yeah, I am not actually too dissatisfied with this episode. I am aware it did seem like a manic episode. Like, like yeah, it, it may have seemed like you, yeah, I know you have like an electric current running through you in terms of the amount of stuff I was throwing at you. Want, but like, you know, yeah, hello, you're actually so cool. I'm gonna take a photo of you. I, I'm yeah, but I think I'm gonna hang around and wait for it to be nightfall in game just so I can um kill some spiders and steal this cat. I'm sure that'll have a witch raid happen on my house as a result, but. I don't really care. And also, as a benefit for those you can hear, um, the chainsaw has stopped for now. But you can probably stop this recording before that starts up again. So, hey, you're not leaving. You, I am imprisoning you. I am taking you for myself. Your owner's dead. You are mine now. <laughs> Come on. So it's a bit dark, but you know it's true. Um, but yeah, so if you have enjoyed, then feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It does always help with orange. Let me know you do want to see more of this and love the good stuff. Let me know. Do any of you guys have any sort of educated guesses for what we could possibly at building a notebook song of? And I dropped a few hints this time and last time. So maybe some of you piece it together. I don't know. But that is where we're going to leave it for now. So yeah, until next time, well said and all that aside, I'm going to go kill some spiders to get some fish and bring this cat back home. And thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Ramek and Peace. Out.